Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on everybody? This is Joseph Conlon coming to you with your wrestling news and rumors on Easter Sunday, April 20th, 2000, or April 12th, 2020. Getting my dates wrong. Um, first things first, I want to say happy Easter to everybody uh, who celebrates Easter. Uh, I do celebrate Easter. Unfortunately, with the uh, things that's going on with the virus, uh, I really can't celebrate Easter this year with my family, which is very depressing. But um, I'm trying to celebrate it the best I can. And the only great way I know how to celebrate it is to do this. Because this is what I love. I love this YouTube, man. I love it. But to all my friends out there, on the Twitter universe, you guys know who you are. Happy Easter, God bless you, and I hope you all have a great day. But today's news and rumors, man. This week, and this week alone, we've got news after news after news after news, and the news just kept piling up. I was gonna be talking about, you know, the Cruiserweight tournament that's happening on NXT this week. Rumors about that. Um, I was going to talk about the Boneyard match and the Firefly Funhouse match. Who produced those matches? And then we just got bombarded with all these news this week. What Ronda Rousey said on her interview and her saying, you know, F the fans, they're ungrateful. Why should I work 300 days a year for these ungrateful fans? So we got that to talk about. We got Jeff Hardy being the original plan to become the new Universal Champion. And Braun Strowman was a plan D in this Universal Championship match against Goldberg. He was a plan D. And Jeff Hardy was supposed to be the plan C. So we'll talk about that. And then today's big topic of the week, man. We got WWE for the foreseeable future doing live episodes of Raw, NXT, SmackDown. They were originally supposed to be taping, but they are now going live on the USA Network on Monday and Wednesday night. And they're going live on Fox for Friday night on SmackDown and making... Uh, two stories into one big topic. We will also talk about someone in WWE tested positive for COVID-19. So all of that today on the News and Rumors video. But before we get to the News and Rumors, make sure you guys go check out previous videos that I've done right here on the Big Five Field Channel. We got last week's WrestleMania, Night 1 and Night 2 review that I did with Eddie Mullins. If you have not checked those out, Go check it out. The Monday Night Raw review on Monday. Dark Side of the Ring WWF Brawl for All on Tuesday. AEW on Wednesday. NXT on Thursday. And then SmackDown on Friday. Go check all of those out. Without further ado, let's start the news and rumors. Oh, Ronda Rousey. Man, she's gotten some heat over the interview that she did this past week. Let's talk about it. Give you my thoughts, my obvious thoughts, which I'll talk about after I read all of this. The first part, at least. On the latest episode of Wild Ride with Steve O. Podcast, Rousey talked about working for WWE. This is what Ronda Rousey said. I love WWE. I had such a great time. I love all the girls in the locker room. Running out there and having fake fights for fun is just the best thing. I love choreographing. I don't know how to pronounce that word. I'm sorry. Uh, theater and acting. But I was doing basically part-time. And I was away from home 200 days out of the year. If I did... All of the live shows, I was only home a day and a half a week. It was just not worth it for my family because we were eliminating all of our expenses 
and living this lifestyle. We didn't need it. We didn't need the money. And then she's the, f the first part. She she says, so it's just like what I am doing. F it's just like, what am I doing it for? If I'm not being able to spend my time and energy on my on my family, but instead spending my time and my energy on a bunch of effing ungrateful fans that don't even appreciate me. I love performing. I love the girls. I love being out there. But at the end of the day, I was just like, F these fans, dude. My family loves me and they appreciate me. And all I want, all I want is my energy to go into them. So that was my decision at the end of the day. It's like, hey girls, I love what you're doing. I'm going to try and take all my momentum and push you guys as far as I can. I'm going effing home. So that's what Ronda Rousey said. And then people... People took this to offense. People were actually offensive of what Ronda Rousey said in this video. With, you know, being, you know, F the fans and ungrateful fans. And the fans are fickle. And I appreciate my family more. And I'm going home. You know, whatever. Here's my thoughts on it before I read the second part. Ronda Rousey is working us. She would not be doing this just for no reason. She be she would have to be doing this for a specific reason. Obviously, something is happening. We just heard a few a few weeks ago that Ronda Rousey was at WWE headquarters. Could they possibly be setting up a return for Ronda Rousey? Maybe. And now that you think, now that we think about it, Shayna Baszler lost to Becky Lynch at at uh, WrestleMania. Daddy Vince, Daddy Vince McMahon could be waiting for Ronda Rousey to make her return and take the Raw Women's Championship away from Becky Lynch, possibly at SummerSlam, and that's why Shayna lost. We heard that Daddy Vince didn't like Shayna whatsoever. Uh, sh uh, wasn't interested in pushing Shayna Baszler. So he might be waiting for Ronda to return. Who knows? But. I'm sorry. If. You take this to events. And you don't think Ronda Rousey is working us. You are not a smart wrestling fan. Okay. It is, it is clearly obvious. She's working us. And this is going to be setting up a return for Ronda Rousey. And she's going to be a heel. She's going to be a heel coming back. And she's going to take the Raw Women's Championship off of Becky Lynch. Now let me read the second half that I wrote down here. So this is when people got upset for Ronda calling pro wrestling fake fighting for fun. She used the hashtag kayfabe killer. Anyone who is outraged by me calling pro wrestling fake fights for fun has never been in a real fight while you are all tiptoeing around bruising pro some pro wrestlers, huge soft egos. No one is thinking about all the real fighters you are insulting when pretending pro wrestling is somehow on the same level of realism. Yes, I understand wrestling 300 days a year for years on end is incredibly tough on the body and a difficult profession. But do you know what would happen if you got in 300 real fights in a year? You would be dead. So that's what Ronda Rousey said on the uh, kayfabe killer. Basically coming back at the fans for uh, calling pro wrestling fake. And then, and then... Miss Botch, yes, Nia Jax, decided to get her nose involved in this, and she sent out a tweet stating the following. I can't wait for Ronda to return one day to WWE. Even if WWE orders me to make Ronda look good in the ring, which is the only way for Ronda to look good in the ring with me. <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll talk about that when I'm done. I'll risk my job to go down in history as the one from the biz 
that knocked her the F out. First of all, Nia Jax, you are a complete idiot for saying this about Ronda Rousey. Because if you got in a fight with Ronda Rousey, she would knock Nia Jax out in mere seconds. It would not be even close. Ronda Rousey could knock out every single woman on the WWE roster. And the only person who would give her a tough time is probably Shayna Baszler. But besides that, she'd knock out every single woman on the main roster, on the, in, in women's wrestling in WWE. So, Nia Jax is trying to act like oh, this all tough girl or whatever. And she says, I'll knock you out. Yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> sure thing, Nia. And then she says, WWE orders me to make Ronda look good in the ring, which is the only way for Ronda to look good in the ring against me. Oh, oh, Nia Jax is funny, man. Nia Jax is funny. She can't even wrestle herself out of a plastic bag. So what makes you think she is gonna, she's gonna be, she makes Ronda Rousey look good? Because of her. And she carried Ronda Rousey. Nia Jax is going to carry other matches. Instead, she tries hurting in people. Like Charlotte and Sasha Banks. Almost ending their careers. Nia Jax is a disgrace. Obviously. She's, she just became, in my opinion, the biggest clown of pro wrestling. And, you know, she, she looks like a fool in this. Fat bitch. I had to get it in there. I had, I had to get it in there. But man, what is... Why she just gotta... Just leave her... Get out of her business. What's the point of commenting, you know? I don't, I don't get it. Alright, moving on to the second topic before we talk about... The main event topic of the week. But before we get there. According to WrestleTalk. Uh, this was according to WrestleTalk. That I found today. Um, Jeff Hardy. Was the original plan. When Roman Reigns dropped out. Of his match with Goldberg at WrestleMania. Jeff Hardy. Was the original plan. To go over Goldberg. And be the brand new. Universal Champion. And then it was decided moments before the show that it was going to be Braun Strowman who would go up and face Goldberg and take the Universal Championship from Goldberg. Now, in my honest opinion, I would much rather see Jeff Hardy as the Universal Champion over Braun Strowman. I would like to see Jeff Hardy have at least one more run as the world champion before he retires. So if Jeff Hardy won the Universal Championship from Goldberg, it would have been a great moment, no doubt about it. But you got to look at it this way. Jeff Hardy is a huge troublemaker. He's DUI problems, drunk, um, problems with his wife, uh, passing out in hallways, getting arrested, drinking while driving. If Jeff Hardy is irresponsible out on the road, and is drinking. What makes WWE think that Jeff Hardy is responsible at being their top world champion on SmackDown? That's the kind of way I think about it when I think about this current situation. What I have loved to see Jeff Hardy be the Universal Champion over Braun Strowman a hundred times out of a hundred, you bet I would. But in WWE's case, they're probably like. Look at the troubles this guy has had over the past few months. DUI problems, drug alcohol, he's alcoholic, getting in fights with his wife, going, being arrested. Uh, he's got a court date soon, I think. But I just got to think about it that way. And they decided to go with Braun Strowman over Goldberg, uh, over Jeff Hardy, which proves that Plan A was the original, was the original 
Roman Reigns beating Goldberg and being the Universal Champion. Roman Reigns drops out. Plan B was for Goldberg to retain the Universal Championship no matter who he faces. And he was going to stay home as the Universal Champion, come back on a later date, and drop the title to Roman Reigns. Then Goldberg said, I don't want to work past WrestleMania. I'm dropping the title. So then that's out. And then Jeff Hardy was the original plan C to beat Goldberg. They did not do that. Braun Strowman was a plan D, folks. Braun Strowman is a plan D. That's very, very uncreative, in my opinion. But hey, now we got Braun Strowman as the Universal Champion. Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt is all but confirmed for Money in the Bank. And there's no way that Braun Strowman is making out of money in the bank as the Universal Champion. No way whatsoever, in my opinion. But I have to wait and see what happens. And, and then I also heard that uh, Vince McMahon could be setting up Jeff Hardy for a post-WrestleMania push. That one guy who gets a post-WrestleMania push every year, this year, it could be Jeff Hardy. And the reason being is because they don't want him. Uh, I think they don't want him going to AEW with his brother, Matt. So, that's why they're pushing Jeff Hardy. Does it surprise me? Absolutely not. They just, put a, they just played a vignette for him on SmackDown this past week. And, she's, and um, he can more likely be in the Money in the Bank ladder match this past year. Uh, this, in, uh, in a few weeks and uh, we could see more of Jeff Hardy on uh, Smackdown on Fox that's my opinion uh, I love Jeff Hardy I don't have a problem with him being pushed but if that's the reason because they don't want him to go with AEW uh, it's kind of petty in my opinion nothing new but I just wish Jeff Hardy was the Universal Champion over Braun Strowman that's my opinion on the situation Alright folks, the main event topic of the week, WWE taping live shows. We got a full report from Wrestling Observer that I will read. And WWE employee in the company tests positive for COVID-19. Two top, uh, two subjects all in one topic. I'm going to put it in. Let's begin because this might be a long one. I don't know. I'm going to try to make it short, but we'll see how I go. Well, this is the Wrestling Observer Radio article. WWE Chairman Vince McMahon made the decision Friday to return to live programming for Raw on Monday night, NXT on Wednesday night, and SmackDown on Friday night from the Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. This decision to not do tapings all weekend, as was previously scheduled, came during the middle of the day while taping SmackDown as McMahon announced he was changing everything that the show would be going as close to live excuse me as close to live ASAP Ugh. while that was not the plan Thursday it was something he was considering all along hence why we are specifically told Wrestling Observer yesterday to make sure and stay that the plan say that the plan was the current one, which was taping all throughout the week, uh, taping Raw, SmackDown, NXT all throughout the week. Um, many in the company were shocked at this decision. Those close to the situation have defended it, and that it was correct. It was the correct economic decision, even even if every decision. And even running at all has to be questioned right now. Well, of course, the top is going to agree with this situation. What do you think? They're going to disagree with the boss saying we're going to tape. We're not going. We're going to tape. We're going to tape live shows. Of course, they're going to agree. Um, contracts with NBC Universal and Fox call for a certain number of shows per year that could be taped for Raw. That number is three, which is at the start of the year was a marked for ones over Christmas week and two shows during European tours. In theory, that would leave them 
with 49 live Raws. SmackDown, uh, Fox has a similar deal. That's what I wrote about WWE uh, taping live shows for the foreseeable future. Um, for my opinion on this topic, um, it's very risky, in my opinion. It's very, very risky to do live tapings um, from the Performance Center every single week, especially that Orange County is on lockdown right now. But I heard rumors that Vince McMahon gave um, the top letters that if state police did stop them, that they would show them a, let a letter that they were an essential business. Now, a lot of people are going to have topics over this. Is WWE breaking the law? Is Vince McMahon breaking the law? Is WWE an essential business? People are going to be talking about this for a very long time. This broke on TMZ and this broke on Sports Center this morning as I was watching Sports Center. So, this is very big news that even non wrestling fans know about that WWE is going to go ahead and tape live shows. I don't know how to feel about it. I feel very unsafe for the wrestlers because I know how the wrestlers feel. They are, they are probably scared to death that they have to leave their home every single week to do these tapings live and stay away from their families when now with all this virus stuff going on is now the time to stay home and be with your families. And these brave men and women uh, have to go to the airport every single week, fly to Florida. I'm sure most of them live in Florida now, but they have to stay away from their families during this virus. And that's very, that's very unsafe in my opinion. And I would feel, I would feel for those wrestlers, man. If I was in that situation, and I was away from my family, I would feel scared. I would feel very, very scared. And um, now we go to the part, like I said, though those close to the situation, like to the, the, the guys at the top uh, with Vince McMahon, like Kevin Dunn and uh, Triple H and et cetera, they defend the decision. Well, of course they're going to defend the decision because it's, what's, it's Vince McMahon's decision and it's what Vince wants. Vince wants to tape live shows. They have to agree with Vince McMahon and tape live shows, uh, even with this pandemic going on. But hey, most of this, most of this could be just taking care of business. Maybe they have, maybe uh, USA and Fox told Vince you have to go live. You know, they might have told Vince, hey. Our ratings are really down right now for Raw and SmackDown uh, and NXT as well, even though they beat AEW in the ratings this week. Um, your ratings are down. I don't think the tape shows are working. You only have a specific amount of shows that you could have taped per year, and we need you to go live. Maybe that could have happened, and they told Vince to go live, and that's what um, made this, the decision... For Vince McMahon to go live. And. I mean I don't know. At the end of this it just could be. For the money. I, I don't really know. But. In my opinion. I'm just going to say this for the final time. Then we're going to move on to the employee. Tested positive for COVID. Um, I think it's unsafe. It is very. Very risky. And I think. The wrestlers have got to be scared to death, in my opinion. And, um, that's all I got to say about this, man. We'll see. We'll see how long this lasts for. Apparently, they're taping live on Monday. It's going to, the live tapings are going to start tomorrow night on Monday Night Raw. So, we're going to see how that goes, man. We'll see how that goes. Now, it was reported yesterday that an employee... On the WWE, in the WWE, tested positive for COVID-19. This is an article 
from Pro Wrestling Sheet. Pro Wrestling Sheet has confirmed with WWE that an on-screen talent in the company who is not a member of the active roster tested positive for COVID-19. According to sources, the person went out to dinner with friends who work in the healthcare industry following the, compl the completion of WWE's last batch of tapings, including WrestleMania 36. We're told the person then began feeling symptomatic and was tested for the virus. The person tested positive and immediately went into quarantine. Since then, they've been in quarantine the entire time. Sources say the person was cleared of the virus at the end of this week and is now feeling much better. This is a statement from the WWE over this person tested positive for the virus. A WWE employee has, tes has tested positive for COVID-19. We believe this matter is very low risk to WWE talent and staff. As the individual and a roommate, a roommate became symptomatic in the days following exposure to people working in, in acute health care on the evening of March 26th, which was one of the nights WWE was taping WrestleMania. After WWE's TV production on a closed set was already complete, the WWE employee had no contact with anyone from WWE since being exposed of those two individuals who is doing well and made a complete recovery. Now, um, they did not know, they did not say who this individual was that tested positive for the virus, and quite frankly, it's not our business. But this could be a reason why WWE needs to shut down for a while and take a hiatus. Because situations like this, even if it's from a cameraman, uh, a producer, a creative writer, uh, a backstage announcer, a ring announcer, a commentator to a pro wrestler on the roster, um, this is very unsafe for the entire WWE, um, it could be a reason why they need to go on a hiatus, because this person, whoever it is, I don't know, I'm not going to speculate, but what if this person was sick uh, during the WrestleMania tapings, and he was in contact with somebody, he was close to somebody, and he gave that person the virus, and then that person gave another person the virus, and so on. The virus spreads around the entire WWE locker room. It's very, very unsafe, and hence to why WWE could shut down for a while. It's very, very scary what's going on with this virus around the world, and it's now hit WWE. Uh, I'm glad to be hearing that this person is feeling much, much better. And who, whoever it is, uh, I hope to see back on television very soon. And that's all the news and rumors I got this week, man. I want to thank you guys for all watching this video. If you haven't already, subscribe right here on the Big Fight Field channel for some really great content. Uh, comment down below what you think of these rumors and news around the Rousey uh Calling the grand, the fans ungrateful, um, etc. Jeff Hardy being the original plan to defeat Goldberg after Roman Reigns was out for the Universal Championship and WWE taping live shows for the foreseeable future starting tomorrow night on Monday Night Raw. Like this video with a super kick. Follow me on Twitter at Conlin underscore Joseph. You can follow me on Instagram at Conlin underscore Joseph. Follow Eddie on Twitter at EddieMullen515. And speaking of Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Raw is live tomorrow night from the Performance Center. And I will be doing a review for it tomorrow night right here on the Big Fight Field channel. Guys, have a great day and happy Easter.